We have bought a tractor today. Told you we wouldn't wait very long. She's a pretty one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is he gonna crack a smile? I don't know, it's a little rainy. He didn't know it was gonna rain. Usually I watch the weather. Oh. Yeah. I know it's supposed to rain and I had to clean up the mess. So it runs, but it doesn't run. So we broke our mantra. That's what took me so long. I wanted to diagnose it. <sighs> I came up with a new song. Rain, rain, go away. Pate's performance bought a tractor today. I look better if it was running. I mean, I only got $100 cheaper than what I offered, which sucks, but it is what it is. You need to get another tractor out. The bug has bit me. She's pretty. Uh, yeah. You know, um, the guy had it serviced last year. He had the receipts. If anybody wants to know how much it costs for a tune-up for a lawn tractor here on Long Island, um, 350 bucks. And that was just your simple blade sharpen, oil filter, new fuel line, battery check. Battery in the air is good. This guy cranked the crap out of it to try and get it running, but, um, we got it to start and it would run and die off of, uh, Go go juice. So we need to go through the carburetor, and you know, that's it. And actually, we pushed this thing up. Surprisingly, I wasn't. I didn't think we were gonna do it, but we got it in there. So I'm 50/50 on this. You know, he wanted five, right? He wanted five. Do you remember? He saw it too. I found this thing late at night, and I negotiated late at night. Um, it was either five or five fifty-five. Was, I have to check yeah, I think again. It was five five fifty. I got him down to four. He said no to three fifty. Three fifty would be our sweet spot. Uh, this is the Bronco, so it's bigger than the Pony. Nineteen HP. Are we right on that? I think so. It has the Kohler Courage, so it takes courage to own the Courage, just not the Briggs. But he had it serviced, so I assume that the service center did tighten the sump cover bolts. If not, I will. Double back, and I'm gonna do it myself. I don't trust nobody. Oil looks clean, everything. I'm gonna change the oil anyway. For some reason, I feel better once we throw a little bit of royal purple in there and our regular oil. We mix it. We don't just do straight royal purple in there. And we're just gonna we're gonna go through it. I think there's a spring missing or something for the shoot. But I think we could just knock it back in. I, I don't know. It's raining. I had no idea it was supposed to rain today. I got crap in the driveway. My whole thing today was to just finish a few little things that make much noise and move these projects into the finished pile. And uh, God has uh, different plans for me. Looks like the sun's trying to at times fight its way. Through yeah, we're done for the day. I really wanted to work on Mandingo today, but that's not going to happen either. I can't do nothing. My hands are completely tied today. I'm starving. Um, that's what took me so long. The guys let me work on it with him. So here's the deal. It was 300 as is, or he was gonna get it fixed, charge me for it, but he wouldn't deliver it, and you can't trust nobody. So I didn't wanna lose this deal. Mm -hmm. I figured if this thing was so bad, I would just sell it for 300 as is and pawn it off on somebody else. But I think, I think we have a good solid unit, and um, yeah, I think we're gonna be all right. It's just an engine. It's not cracked, so we're good to go. It, it sounded pretty good from when I got it. I got it running. Uh, Non-hydrostatic, but I think, yeah, it's not hydrostatic because this thing rolled, I think. I didn't see no thing in the back to move it. I don't want to pretend I know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what I'm talking about. So we're kind of all about full disclosure here at Pate's Performance. When I, the missus, looked at the ad this morning, I happened to notice that the gas cap, oil caps were all off in the picture, and oh, I made a comment shit. to the mister, Oops. and I said to him, I said, do we know for sure this is a driving lawn tractor? Is it up and running? And the mister was actually a little snarky in his comment back to me and said, why yep. wouldn't it be? Yeah. So he and, said he had it uh, running yesterday. I, mean, I won't take apologies now. But, this house is real. I know you say that you're not supposed to pass judgment on people. Don't let media tell you any different. You're allowed to pass judgment on people. 
uh, animals do it, so could we. You're not a terrible person if you do. It's like an instinct. It's not a terrible instinct. This guy had a really, really nice house. All beautiful cars in the driveway. Um, so I think there was some weight to it. I went off some instinct and some judgment, and he, the guy let me look at it while he was there. Mm -hmm. And I evaluated it's just going to need a carb cleaner, a carburetor, and then it will be off on our merry way. He says it runs and cuts good. Obviously, we could not do that. But when uh, he showed me the receipt and I just picked up the mulch plug, you know, but the flap, yeah. and I seen right inside the blades, and I'm like, yeah, this thing was, this thing is good to go. I think so. I it's think not it, a terrible yeah. risk. It sucks that, you know, for an extra $25, $50 more, we were getting running, driving tractors. Now we're at 300 with a tractor that needs work. Yeah. So, um, my protege, if you guys remember Bryce. Uh, he sold one of these, I think, for six fifty. I'm not, and it had the courage on there too. And he did it our way. I think he sold. Yeah, he sold for six fifty. I'll show you that. Um, so he sold it for six fifty without the bag. We sold the Craftsman LT one thousand with the bag for eight hundred. We're gonna aim for why not? Let's aim for twelve hundred thousand bucks and see what happens and, and go from there. This one we're definitely gonna raise the price. Why not? We're allowed to. This is a Bronco. This isn't the Pony. I think the Bronco by itself is I think twenty two, twenty three hundred. So I think with the bag around a thousand, twelve hundred bucks is more than mm -hmm. fair at and our way. And for someone who's looking to make this an investment piece, um, you know, if you can close it the out, Bronco definitely has quite a few attachments available to it. Um, if someone's looking to, you know, extend, you know, the, there's the um, the carts available, the plows available. So if someone's looking to really, you know, do something with this. You know there are plenty of options available the swivel carts uh, so you know it depends on how, how big someone wants to go with this but um, you know I think bottom line is before you go to purchase anything you, you, you go in with a clear open mind um, you know I tend to be a little bit more of a realist and I, I don't want to say a pessimistic individual um, I just tend to I don't trust. I don't trust. Um, when I saw the pictures, I noticed right away in the pictures on the advertisement, gas cap was off, oil cap was off in the pictures. I'm just, I was curious to what was going on, you know, when you stage um, something and, and I saw the pictures of his home in the background, you know, everything alluded to, you know, storybook setting. Um, but then when I saw the machine, I was wondering, you know, storybook setting in the background, why not a storybook setting all around. Why weren't the gas caps on? Why weren't the oil caps on? Why wasn't the staged picture perfect? Um, so I don't think I was far off when I had asked the mister this morning, are we 100% that this is up and driving and running? And um, I love him immensely, but um, I, I guess I wasn't wrong. Um, and and I, this is not about me being right and him being wrong. I always want when we go to pick up equipment, for it to be exactly what he's looking for, exactly what we're looking for. But I guess, you know, always go in, open mind. Um, I always like to believe when you look at the glass being a little less than half full, it's considered a bonus when something ends up being more of what you ex want it to be, consider it to be, you know, a prize. Uh, so he did good. Ultimately, I'm, I'm always so proud of him. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, now we have a Troy built. So it's always nice when something new enters the driveway. That's what, that's what I have to say. And um, I don't doubt that Pate's performance will make this what it needs to be. Um, we'll get this job done. That is just what we do here. Um, and that's not being braggy or boastful. That's just get have confidence in what you do. Um, it's a simple formula. You work hard, uh, you work real hard. And, um, you know, as you can see, it is not a pleasant day here on Long Island and we're getting the job done, but I'm going to sign off right here because, you know, this is my cue. I want to get out there and help him. So, um, we'll catch you on the, the next, next segment later. I've been flying from two to two.